I'm actually gonna get this last inventory done. Nice. Rarely been able to do that these games today. I can get one done in that portal time. Oh, I'm gonna grab a drink here quick. nice to see that my noise gate is somewhat working. There's quite a bit of banging and stuff going around upstairs. It doesn't seem to be cueing my mic up. I might be able to hear it while I'm actually talking, but otherwise, be going pretty well. You know, I've never gotten to the point where I've been able to use a giant pouch. I'm not sure how, like, the inventory setup works once you have it. That feels very awkward. Like, this lines up fairly well, because you end up with, you know, four left in the bottom here. The giant pouch probably holds, like, what, 12? Or does this one hold 12? No, this one holds 9. So the giant pouch probably holds 12, which means you need a load more space. I think I'll have to figure out a different way of doing things once I unlock that, because I don't think I'm going to be able to get enough fragments. Maybe if I had a higher mining level, I could get enough? I honestly don't know. But, like, this is, like, a pretty solid flow of you do one inventory with the portal, and then you do one inventory without it.
I don't know how it would actually work with the giant pouch as well. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, my mouse. My mouse control. It's all over the place. How did I miss that? I missed it by like a pixel on the left and then like a pixel on the right. Oh no. Why are these portals so fast all of a sudden? Maybe it was just my misclicks were that bad. Then again, it might be because I'm using the Cosmic Altar. I feel like the Cosmic Altar is the longest run. And that causes a bit of a chain as well. I'm not going to have enough for the, uh, like, 80% or so inventory. That feels bad. Yeah, like, by the time I get back here, the next portal's gonna spawn. Oof. I've only got 21 fragments.
Oh. It's not for the one inventory. It seems like we're going slow enough I might get the portal inventory as well. That's not too bad. We'll see. that. I think I'm just gonna go... What is this? There's some weird stuff that happens <laughs> with the uh, overlay and stuff in between runs. There's my extra XP. Uh, and I can use this here. Oh, I'm so close. There we go. Let me look at this. Let me just look at this real quick. I don't even have that as an option. Oops, didn't start. Um, I don't know why that... I didn't... No, I, I ran a one minute timer, so it should have been 20 minutes of break, but instead it was 40 minutes. That's nice. Which means I don't need to actually run another one for uh, quite a while. Nice. My hand is actually freezing. What is going on? Maybe I need to play some high graphics games for a little bit so that my computer can warm itself up. It's just so hard to do anything else while doing Guardians of the Rift. not exactly an AFK activity. This, I'm going crazy. For some reason I thought this portal was gone. 61 rune crafting, nice.
Ow, my pouch. here. What is up with me in this large pouch? Why do I keep failing to click on it? Because it's farther out, so I keep trying to move my mouse faster? I don't know. That seemed odd. Oh, it was all of the essence I have. But it only filled like half of my inventory. This is just an elemental run. A little rough how many more elemental reward points I have than catalytic, but just how it goes when you only have these runes available. Like, if I can't make death or blood, it's just... I never want to make mines or bodies, because they aren't used for anything.
looking at my other screen. Running off into nowhere. Trying to get uh, different things up. There we go. Hopefully we have enough time for this portal. We got the runes, but I don't think I get to hand it in. Oh, maybe? No. Nope. If my character hard stops like that, it means that I can't. It does suck that it takes away your cell when that happens, though, because you can still hand it in down here and get the XP from it. It just takes it away from you. Oh, I need to repair my pouch. So weird when I'm doing this, because whenever I do Guardians of the Rift, I rebind my mouse button to be shift. Oh, no, 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 no. I Yeah, I double clicked. Okay, it's fine. There's not enough people around. I rebind my mouse to be double click, not double click, shift click. And so the button that I normally have set to escape is instead shift. It means I can't like insta close my bank or any of the interfaces or anything. Excuse me, sorry. Only four more levels to go. Hopefully it won't take too long. It shouldn't, considering got from 58 to uh, 60 this quickly. Or 58 to 61 this quickly, so be about two more hours or so. And this is RuneScape for you. It is a bit weirder playing this with Entity Hider on. Normally I don't have Entity Hider on, and you can see everybody start streaming through, and that's when you know it's time to go. But otherwise I'm actually using the timer now. definitely think I'm already at the point where I have enough runes to do everything that I really want to do. Uh, except maybe natures. I have enough nature runes to really high elk anything that drops or I get sort of randomly, but if I do any kind of a grind where I make items too high elk, I don't think I'm going to have enough for that, but I can obviously just buy nature runes for that. Not too concerned. I think in general I have enough 
I have enough runes of, like, the lower level runes. I'd like more death runes, because I can't make those, and blood runes. But everything that I can currently make, I think I have enough runes for. But I don't really know if there's any faster way of leveling my rune crafting, other than just sitting here at Guardians and just doing this all the way up. I'm technically high enough now that if I boost, I can boost up high enough to make death runes, but I want the ability to consistently make death runes, uh, especially in Guardians of the Rift. Unlucky. Should have just handed that into the other barrier there. It's another thing about having Entity Hider off, is you can see where people are running and you know if you could actually get to one of these barriers in time to heal it and actually get the XP from it. I'd rather just not have the stress of everybody running around on my screen. The bigger problem being I can never find the apprentice to repair my bags with everyone running around. Cosmics? thinking once I actually get everything that I'm looking for from here, which shouldn't take too long. I think the catalytic talisman is relatively common. Like, it's not too hard to get. Then I'm just gonna go into questing mode. I'm just gonna get a whole bunch of quests done, because I currently have a lot of really easy quests that I haven't done, along with, like, the lower-level achievement diaries, where it's just a lot of sort of sitting XP that I could pick up. And I might as well grab as much of it as I can, along with getting the different buffs and, and teleports and things. 
Like the Ghost Ahoy file, and then... I don't know if there's any other real teleports. There's the gloves you get from Recipe for Disaster. Which I could learn how to do all that. Because I've done some of the... Um, what are they called? Arts before? The different names, subquests. For them before, but I've never actually gotten, like, Barrow's Gloves before. That might be fun to do. Uh, but I don't think I'm high enough combats for that, so maybe I'll sit around and level my combat somewhere or something along those lines. There's quite a bit. Why did this one not work? Fine. There's just quite a bit of random things for me to do to still set up this account. Like, I want to unlock Temple Trekking. Because I learned that you can temple trek and do an easy temple trek, which is pretty fast, and get like a hundred bowstring. So you shouldn't actually make your own bowstring, you should just get it from that. Which I used to just make all of my own bowstring. There's so many things like that in this game. Whereas like, if you don't know that something exists, you do like this super tedious way, and I feel like there's so many things like that that I still don't know about. Great, we're gonna go make some air runes. <laughs> Just pop me out straight next to the altar, it knows. To make great use out of those 246 air runes. At least the hand in still gives you something. The cell hand in is like 30 XP, it's terrible. I might stay here for a couple extra seconds this time, because I seem to be running out of shards every time.
Yeah, I think we'll wait until like 25 seconds. Get a few extra ticks there. It's not worth a whole lot, but maybe it'll make up the difference. I think a lot of it is just my mining level, even though it is pretty high. 73, and I have the Celestial Ring on, which I think gives a plus 5? I can't remember if it's a plus 5 or a plus 4. So I'm pretty much sitting around 80 mining right now, which you'd think would be good enough, but I don't seem to have enough essence half the time. I should look up what the cap is for reward points. I'm probably nowhere near it because it's probably like, uh, not over mine here. Well, probably nowhere near it, but it would be good to know because I seem to remember the upper limit being very low compared to like Temperas. Like Temperas is like 8,000 and then this was like way lower in comparison, but probably because it's harder to get permits. Either way, I don't want to waste any. That would suck. Um, received points after closing a rift, provided they gained at least oh total energy. 150 total energy. It gives you one point for every 100 energy, so... Oh, no, the maximum number of searches that can be stored is 65,535. Clearly, I was wrong. What was I thinking of, then? Or it's like there's a really weirdly low limit on points. Maybe I'm thinking of Tithe Farm. Probably. Tithe Farm has like a limit of like 2,000 points or something. You can hit it really easily if you're not paying attention and you're just kind of auto farming. Good news is I have enough fragments for the full set. I can actually do the next two portals. Actually, can I? I think I can do the 60%. Maybe I actually can't do the 80%. I can't remember exactly how this works. I don't think I emptied my small pouch there. Nope. Why does this happen? Oh. Put those in there first. Like, I do wonder if I just misclick that often, or if it's something else going on.
All right. I did have enough fragments overall. I think that is the play then. Just to sit there for an extra couple seconds at the start. And I can't be sure because obviously it could just be the altars that happened to turn on. And how far I had to run for those. These people just dropping their fire rams. Also, did I see 315? Was that like multiple people dropping them? Or can you actually make over 300 runes in one trip once you're high enough level? You can probably carry quite a few runes. Like quite a few essence with you once you have a uh, colossal pouch. And then if you can make like four runes per essence. My math still adds that up as less than 315, but maybe with Raymond's of the eye? I don't know. Just seems like quite a lot. games here. I'll just quickly pop another one of these going. If you get ahead of it a little bit, you can keep it constantly turned off which is what I'd like to do but at the same time it's one of those like I'd rather just not run any ads at all <laughs> if I'm completely honest I'd rather just have them off completely but uh you either have them showing up right at the very beginning or you have them showing up when you want them to show up so I might as well have them pop up specifically uh you know in between games and stuff like that cuz it's still going to take quite a while Still looking at around three and a third levels to get to 65. 165 specifically because it unlocks making death runes. It's the level for making death runes, but uh, I can't actually make them because I haven't done Morning's End Part 2. And then I want to grab my rewards because as long as you're the level to make the rune, typically get more of that type of rune uh, whenever you roll it. So if you roll to get death runes, you're going to get more death runes than if you weren't high enough level to actually 
get them in the first place. So hopefully that helps a little bit. The thing is, eventually I'm going to have to grind this out anyway. So I might as well do it while I haven't grabbed my rewards and can get the extra stuff. I have this mentality way too much when it comes to these types of mini games. Like, I do it for, or I did it before for uh, Temperaz. I did it before for Wintertop. Wintertop's the worst. I, like, got to 99 fire making and then was like, well, apparently you get better rewards if you level up your other skills before you open these boxes. So I went and, like, leveled up a load of other skills. This one didn't go through. A load of other skills. And then realized that the rewards you actually get from the boxes, even if you have your other skills leveled up, aren't actually that great. Like, you don't get that much because apparently they were nerfed at some point. And so it just isn't worth it to hold all those materials when you could just be using them to level. I have a tendency to do it with Temperos as well, where I'll go and do Temperos all the way to 81 fishing, because 81 fishing means that you get the highest roll on everything. Like, you can get the best amount, like the the best fish like you can get manta rays but then you also get like more of the the lower fish and now i'm doing it with guardians of the rift as well where i'm like well might as well get to this level i'm not gonna go all the way up to like blood rune level because If I go and learn how to make death runes, if I go and actually do Morning's End, then I can be making death runes while getting to the level for Bloods. But I don't know how difficult Sins of the Father is for doing Blood runes. I know that Morning's End isn't actually that bad. I'm pretty sure, like, the worst thing you really have to deal with for getting to Morning's End Part 2 and actually completing it is, like, having Protect from Melee. Like, if you have Protect from Melee, you can kind of just deal with everything up to and including that quest, I think, right? Like, going back in my memory of doing it on... my main account ages ago. Like, the worst thing you have to deal with is you have to fight a moss giant, like, barehanded. Which, if you have protect from melee, it's not a problem, right? Hey, I can make two times cosmic runes now. I'm never gonna have to worry about those ever again. Portal. But yeah, so once I have a Catalytic Talisman and then get my prayer up, like, I think I can do the entirety of Morning's End Part 1. I'm not actually sure how to get my prayer up, though. It feels like it's really important to get two overheads, which is 43. But I don't know how to get to overheads. Which is a little bit rough. I think what people normally do on non-hardcores is they take like dragon bones 
and then take them to the Wilderness Altar. And that can get them to 43 fairly quickly. But there's a chance of dying. So, as a hardcore, you kind of don't really want to go into the Wilderness and go to the Chaos Altar. But you still want to get your prayer up means what? You have options of like the Ectofuntus, which is kind of a really tedious way of doing it, and you still need to get yourself the bones, and then you have um, like a player-owned house altar, but to get the best one of those, the Gilded Altar, you need level... Um, I think it's like 70 or 75 construction and you need like 2 mil GP for the materials to make it but then you also need like 6 plus mil to actually make the materials and the planks to get to that level. So I'm really not sure what the best way to get my prayer level up is. I'm sure I'll figure it out, or I'll just struggle through it. Hmm. Really thought that click would work. I have just enough fragments to make this whole inventory as well. I do kind of wonder if I should, like, get some rewards early. Like, if I was actually trying to be super efficient at this, if I should get rewards early. Because the rewards might give me enough pearls to get a piece of the raiment set. And the raiment set I don't think gives bonus XP, but it does give more runes. So I'd just be generating more runes while doing this whole thing. Uh, the Guardian is about to cap, yeah. So, I guess I'm just going to sit here and then I'll grab more cells on my way out. I think my catalytic energy and reward points is slowly catching up. But the thing is, there's only... Oh no, there are four now. There's four types of runes that I'll make over any elemental rune. So that's why it's slowly catching up. It's about cosmics, chaos, law, and nature. with death and blood still to come. And then I've got the four elemental runes.
It's nice that we haven't failed yet today, though. There must be someone actually managing the Guardians. And enough people doing barriers. Normally I help out with them, but because I'm currently on, like, the large pouch stage, like... I barely have enough, uh, like, fragment time to actually get enough to do all the runs. So it's a bit iffy actually doing, uh, barriers and guardians. Obviously it's better to do them than to fail a run, because you're just missing out on so much XP, but... Usually there's... or... If people are thinking about it, there's usually enough people that are on, like, the medium pouch stage, or... Maybe there's another stage that allows you to kind of do Guardians, get all that sort of free runecrafting XP, because it does give you quite a bit of free XP in crafting and also in runecrafting to make these Guardians that uh, they can just stay up there do all that, and then start mining. Nature's... You know, you'd think... Am I really... Someone's actually there before me. It's crazy. You'd think during one of these downtimes in between games, someone would clear out this rubble here. Like, just move it off to the side so that people can actually get down here using the cliff side instead of having to make a portal every time. Or plan B, like set up a permanent portal to over there. Same way they do to get here in the first place. 